So I'm back with another nail tutorial, which is very unlike me, but I recently showed you guys how I apply false nails. And I had a lot of people asking me, okay, that's how you apply them, but how do you remove them afterwards? They usually last about seven to 10 days. And by about day five to day seven, you'll notice that a couple of them might pop off. You might wanna pop them back on again. And by about day 10, all of them will pretty much wanna come off. And you shouldn't really leave them on longer than that anyway. It's best to give your nail bed a little time to breathe. You know, so when I remove them, I usually give my nails about a break for a day and then I reapply them. So I only do that for about three weeks of the month and then I take a full week off from wearing them, which is when I pre-film stuff so that you guys don't see me without my nails on, but that's a whole other story. First thing that a lot of people tend to do is try and bite them off or like peel them off. That can be really, really uncomfortable, particularly if they're freshly glued on. They ain't coming off. You're actually gonna end up damaging your nail bed. You're gonna maybe break your teeth on them. So maybe don't do that. There is a few different ways that you can weaken them so that they easily pop off. And that's basically what we're gonna do today. First thing is to take a hot bath and just have your hands in the bath. After the bath, they'll pretty much pop off. Another way of doing it is to soak them in some oily water. So this is like like coconut makeup remover. My coconut oil is like really weird looking. I'm gonna add some warm water and just soak them. So just a little bit of warm water and any type of oil or anything that kind of has like an oily substance or even like dish soap, that stuff really breaks down the glue. So I'm just gonna leave them like soak in here or even just do the dishes. Two birds with one scone right there. This might be a bit boring, so I'm just gonna speed it up. You don't wanna fully dry them. You just wanna sort of pat them dry just to remove the excess. And this will pretty much weaken the glue and the whole kind of structure. And now it's just a case of trying to see if any of them have loosened off. And they usually loosen off around the edges. So you can like take one of your nails and kind of pop it in there. Don't force it because if it doesn't give way, then you're only gonna hurt yourself. So don't force it. Just kind of feel to see if it's kind of, oh, see? That one's coming off nicely. And you wanna do this while it's still kind of warm because I feel like the plastic from the actual nails is much more pliable that way. So I'm just kind of running along. That one's not gonna come off. That can feel, that feels really, really tight. Once again, if you hear me clicking, I have JHS. Don't judge my clicks. As I said, you really don't wanna force these because it will damage your nail bed. It can really hurt. So just please don't try and force them off or bite them off or anything like that. That one is so solidly on there. And as you're kind of opening up the space, the liquid and the heat is getting inside. So it's breaking down the glue. So you don't wanna do it in just one sweep. Just keep kind of loosening them. And the more you come back to them, kind of the looser they get. Like, look at that one. That one's just popped off. Nope, oh, that one's coming off. And the underneath part just feels nice and oily and warm. Let's soak these guys. The most important thing is not to kind of push it down this way, even though that did just come off, but not to do that because you may end up damaging your nail bed. So this was nice and loose, so it was just gonna come off anyway, but try not to do this because that hurts. You can hear the water like squishing around underneath. That one's come off. And it should feel wet underneath. And that means you haven't forced it. You've let the water kind of just seep in underneath. My index fingers always are so tough though. They really don't wanna come off. See, that one's a little tight because I can see that it's actually stuck to my skin. And if that's the case, you just wanna really soak this. This little pinky does not wanna come off. And the reason being is because this has already fallen off once and I put it back on again. So it's got a little bit extra glue and it's only been freshly glued. So this is gonna take longer to do. It's like a little jacuzzi for my nail. So loosen off the edge and then just dip it back into the water. So this way the water can get a little further in towards the middle of the nail and break the glue down even more. I can feel it, I can feel it loosening. See how it's loosening just on this edge? But it doesn't really do any damage to your own nails. My nails look pretty much the same as they did before I applied the nails. So no damage. Ah, see, popped off. There you go, it's off. It's done. No pressure, no pulling, no damage, just warm, soapy water. Now I have no nails again. I'm gonna go put on some more. I'm gonna go put these nails on because they're pretty. 